Hi, Ina here. There's some people around, so I don't want to talk too loudly. I hope this will be fine anyway. I'm at a local park today. I thought I'd show you around and then I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about one of our uh, green friends, Woodruff. But I just wanted to start in by showing you these cows. I love cows. They're adorable and they are really, really curious creatures. Even if they're scared in the beginning, it doesn't take long for them to come up and say hello. But I'm going to move on. So I'm here today in the park of Sense, which is a park near where I live, which has sort of the theme of Sense. All the plants that grow here are known for being very aromatic and smelling nice which I really like because I think that a lot of us nowadays tend to live very much in our heads you know intellectually thinking too much rather than that uh, there's a dog I have to keep him on a leash today because there are people around uh, and I think it's good for us to just stop sometimes and be in our bodies instead and just enjoy the experiences of our physical senses. So we have, what do we have here? We have a lovely um, honeysuckle. I think this is licorice root here, not sure, it's supposed to be somewhere. We have some iris. Over here there's more iris elsewhere in here. And we have peonies. They're not opened yet. There are more other places in the park too, I know. I haven't seen them. There are some lilacs a bit farther off. I'm not sure if you can see them. Probably not. And there is Woodruff, which is what I was really going to talk about today. So I'm just going to move over there. And here we are by this sea of Woodruff. It's an adorable little plant. It has this... I'm not sure if you'll be able to see. I'm trying to hold the dog and the phone at the same time. And there's shade and... Look, these really adorable little flowers. And it covers the ground like this. It's not me panting, it's the dog, you know. I <laughs> I want to point that out. I'm not a creep. Um, <laughs> anyway, and it, oh my god, I did not mean to do that. I'm such an amateur. Um, it grows wild here, around here. This is planted, of course, because this is a park. And uh, before I get started, I want to point out that I'm not a trained um, herbologist. I'm basically just someone who's interested in plants and in how you can use the plants and how they've been used historically. Okay. Move. Sorry. Um... So don't trust everything I say blindly, just if you want to use this plant in any way, check with, a, check with a professional first. And this is going to be really such a hassle with a dog. Anyway, yeah, so... Remember that. I'm just an amateur. I have some notes. Um, it actually grows wild in most parts of Europe and Asia. And it's really, as I showed you, it's really cute. But that's not really the most important point. Because the most important thing with this plant is that it's very aromatic. It has a very, very nice scent to it. It's very sweet, especially if you let it dry. It will get this really lovely scent and it comes from uh, a chemical compound called coumarin uh, which you can find in a lot of plants perhaps most famously in 
cinnamon, I think. And cumarin is very interesting because it can be synthesized uh, into warfarin. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that in English. Warfarin, maybe. It's an anti anticoagulantia. Uh, you know, a drug that's used for preventing uh, blood clots. So it's it has been very important for uh, for medical science. Uh, cumarin also seems to have some anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and antifungal uh, effects. And of course, it's used in perfume. Uh, it is a bit toxic. Um, you can eat it, uh, but the cumarin is a bit toxic to the liver and to the kidneys, so you have to be careful not to eat huge amounts, especially not if you have uh, kidney disease or liver diseases, but in reasonable amounts it's uh, for the most part safe unless you have allergies or something. Um, And this is a plant that is very popular and has been for a very long time in gardens. In 1775, Linnaeus said that people used to hang it by the bed to improve their sleep. And it's also said that um, people used it to rub the insides of the containers where they kept the milk to prevent the milk from going bad. And I also read uh, in one book that <laughs> it was thought that if a man put woodruff in his plants, it's supposed to increase his sexual prowess. So, yeah, if you're a guy, you could try that. <laughs> and it's generally said to make people happy and light of heart. Um, it has been used as a moth deterrent, so you can use it like in with your clothes in your wardrobe. And it's used as a spice, especially for, for sweet things and for beverages, like it's used um, for wine and brandy, soft drinks, any kind of spirits really. Uh, but also things like jelly, ice cream, jam, and you can drink it as tea of course. It's supposed to be calming and uh, uh, improve your sleep if you drink it as a tea. And because of the absolutely lovely smell, you can of course use it as an air freshener. It is a magical plant. It has been used for magical purposes too. Uh, it can be used to ensure victory. It can be used for purification. And it can also be used generally to help change your outlook in life and turn a new leaf if you want to leave something behind and move on so that is woodruff aka gallium odoratum or master of the wood Let's see if i can it's difficult with the shade i choose a bad spot but i hope you can see how it looks anyway so I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe. If there's anything in particular you want me to make a video about, please let me know. And thank you for watching.